we are going to be making oh, one of my favorite little snacks here, charcuterie, and learning how to do it with the charcuterie expert, Anna Miller, owner of Kiru Charcuterie, meats, cheeses, and all sorts of goodies. Welcome, yes. welcome. These are beautiful works of art. Thank you. Okay, first of all, Kiru, interesting meaning. Yes. So Kiru in the native language of Peru, I'm Peruvian. Mm -hmm. So in the native language of Peru called Quechua, Kiru means wooden board. So ah. it's very on point. <laughs> all right. And of course, charcuterie is all basically just the, the meats and cheeses there. And one cheese that a lot of folks like or maybe eh, we're going to spice it up a little bit is brie. And yes. we're going to learn how to decorate this, especially for 4th of July, July, right? Right. And this trick works for really any holiday. So mm -hmm. we're going to work with the star for the 4th of July. Okay. But, you know, for Christmas time, you can do a Christmas tree. Uh, for Easter, you can do a bunny, whatever the season may be. All right. And you said the trick is also keep the brie in the fridge as long yes. as possible. Yes. Cold brie is easier to cut into. So keep it, you know, I even would put it in the um, freezer for about two, three minutes oh. um, right before cutting. So okay. that's, that's a trick. All right. Okay. So we're going to start off on the side mm -hmm. and we're going to cut about a third. Oh, down. that much. Okay. Yes. So we're going to cut. And we're going to go around the edges first. So you want to cut through the rind first of all and then? Yes, and then go right through Okay, so just roll right through it. And yeah, you're right about the uh, knife with the little holes in it. It is not really sticking all that much. Yep. And you go, so now do I continue cutting all the way through? Yep. Just all right. All the way around, all ah, the way through. Ta-da! There you go. And you said the best kind of brie to use is what? The double cream brie is a creamier brie, a thinner rind for those mm -hmm. of you that don't like rinds. Yeah, that's one of those things. I love the cheese in the middle, but the rind can be kind of like a little yeah. iffy sometimes. So this is the kind that you can eat, right? Right. All right. So it's a little bit thinner. Uh, the ones that you want to stay away from are the waxy rinds, like the Gouda rind is really not great. So, okay. Um, what next? So we're going to take our shape mm -hmm. and we're going to cut right on the middle. In the lid? Yep. Okay. All the way through? All the way through. Okay. Come out the back you side. Be there we careful go. so right. you don't break your cheese. Oh, I got it. Okay. Yep. So now you have your shape out. And before okay. we put the top back on, we're going to mm -hmm. pour our jam. I have a strawberry jam because it's red and it'll look pretty for 4th of July. Right there in the middle. Right basically. there in the middle. Okay. And, and then, then you stick your top back on. And voila! Oh, per look at that. Yep. Oh, there that's great looking. And then you could also, I guess, decorate a little flag or something if you yeah, want to, too. If you want to. And then, um, you know, when you decorate a brie like this, you can put it as your centerpiece like mm -hmm. this on its own with some crackers on the side, or you can use it for your board, put it in the middle of your board, make it the centerpiece of your board. Okay, so the trick to doing a board, because everybody tries to, you know, go to the store yeah. and you're going through all the packaging, and you go, I want this, you know, I want this meat, want yeah. this meat, with this meat. You said that's, first of all, not the thing to do is go no. buy packaged meats and cheeses, yeah. right? So packaged meats and cheeses are usually more expensive. Mm -hmm. and so. That is what gets you in trouble with uh, boards. I always get the, the comment, oh, I tried making a board, but I ended up spending $200, $300. And you can easily spend that much. Um, but the trick is to go to the deli and order the amounts of meats and cheeses that you need. Okay. Um, and so to kind of figure that out, for charcuterie, we recommend two ounces of cheese, one ounce of meat per person. And so that helps you calculate around Doesn't sound like a lot. It doesn't, but you have Fruits, okay. carbs, nuts, you have all the accoutrements. See, this is a one person plate right there <laughs> and then you, you eat it at the fridge and the leftovers and all that stuff. So, okay, the, very quickly for, yep. uh, especially for parties, picnics like this, this is a great idea here. Yep. So these little paper cones and then yep. just all your little yep. doodads. So we want to do the taller one first. You got to have Oh, whoops, time. okay. Do the taller one first. And you, <laughs> can, one first. And you can buy these these, with bamboo sticks on uh, Amazon on or something? On Amazon. And these are uh, bamboo cups as well. So mm -hmm. we try to be a little bit eco-friendly. Oh, okay. Um, now, if somebody wants to order from you, how far in advance do they have to order? So two days in advance is uh, what we ask. Mm -hmm. um, and then for workshops, we, re we ask that you give us at least a couple of weeks heads up. Okay. And she has um, like girls' night workshops couples, charcuterie workshops, all sorts of different things. So yep. can you imagine going to a picnic and then having all these perfect little cups right there? This is just a great idea. Yep. 
Anna, thank you very much. And well, if you'd like you. more information and to order, and the best place to go is just all over your social pages. Social media. To mm -hmm. Social media. Go to SALive.com. We have provided a link right there. Or just snap that QR code right there at the bottom of your screen.